I am very excited to welcome to today's program Brian Berdowski and Ushi from the Artist Council. And I'm going to start with Brian because you brought in some really amazing pieces of kiln-fused glass. This is not blown glass. This is an entirely different process. Tell me a little about it. So kiln-fused glass is the art of combining glass. Uh, it's not the glass that you would find laying around in your drinking glass. It's actually glass that is chemically and physically the same, which allows it to fuse. It's been around for over 2,000 years, but after a number of years, it fell out of favor because it broke. So uh, in history, few, uh, uh, blown glass and other glass took its precedence. It isn't until the 1970s that a company, Bullseye Company in Oregon, actually came up with a component, uh, a chemical component to have fused glass uh, so it lasts longer. So it lasts forever. Oh wow, okay. And you brought in like, so this is the raw, this is powdered glass? Right, so people ask me sometimes, well did, did you buy these shapes? And I say no, it, the shapes are such, we buy, she, we have sheet glass, we have, we call stringer or spaghetti glass, and then we have all different uh, grades of powdered or broken glass. So all, everything you see here is made from those three components. Wow, it's remarkable. Beautiful stuff, Isn't I love it. it. Uh, and all of this is leading us up to the opening yep. for the Artist Council and the Art Center. Tell yep. me a little bit more about that, Ushi. Well, you know, we had a very busy summer, yes. that's for sure. And we got actually a new roof, too, from the city. <laughs> and it was done right before the big rain. <laughs> so we're happy on that. The opening of the Galen is on September 7th with a show called Hot Times Cool Art, which we do every year. Mm -hmm. And then there's an opening reception the next day on the 8th from 4 to 6. And everybody's invited, public, welcome, please come, 4 to 6 at the Artist Center. And then, of course, at the same time, we're uh, just redoing or creating the store, which Brian will be a part of it. And the opening for that is September 14th. All right, the store opens on the 14th. And Brian, you make a lot of interesting things like this is a, a salt cellar. Yes. Uh, so you, you do a lot of those, but you've got some jewelry, the coasters. I love this platter. This is absolutely, you guys need to see that. Yeah. Like, look at that. It's beautiful, it isn't is it? It is so cool. And so these items are going to be available at the store. Yes. We actually got about 50 artists that applied with their, you know, merchandise or let's call it art pieces. And they were selected, and Brian was one of them. And we have about 500 different pieces that were accepted. And uh, the proceeds to help out the Artist Council as well as the artists. It's the artists, yes. Yeah. Yes. We share it so we can keep those doors open. Right. <laughs> right. And the Artist Council is comprised of all local artists who are contributing and, and creating artwork yes. in, in all different kind of media. That is correct. We have anything from painters to uh, jewelry makers, glass artists, photographers, you know, uh, plain air, watercolor societies, a lot of, lot of different mediums, yep. Well, it is doing Very great excited. work. Go to theartistcouncil.com, and again, Hot Times Cool Art will open on the 8th, and there's a big reception open to the public. Artist Council gift store opens on the 15th. 4 to 6 p.m. and again artistcouncil.com and you'll have you'll be with us uh, off and on throughout the season to tell us about the upcoming shows. Yes, I hope so. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Brian, I thank did. you for bringing all this beautiful art. Thank you. It's enjoyable art. Really interesting to learn about how it is made. Thank you both yep. for being here. Thank, thank you. you so much.